State to your left, North Alabama to your right. The Gamecocks control the tip. Here's the starting five for a Jacksonville State team with four players averaging in double figures. Sort of a balanced effort. It's been a different player just about every night. Huffman inside the big fella. Nearly got his miss. And here's C.J. Brim and a change for North Alabama. Daniel D.J. Ortiz, one of the top freshman scoring players this year in the A-Sun, makes his first career start. Yeah, he has battled his way into the starting lineup for North Alabama. No doubt he'll be a difference maker here tonight for, for the Lions. He's starting in place of Peyton Youngblood, who is not dressed this evening. He is sitting on the bench. North Already Alabama. the shot clock down to five. Yeah, very patient offensive possession here. Brim's floater misses. Each team a miss in the paint. Brian, your niece's piece is for a Jacksonville State team coming in looking for an A-Sun win. Well, Jacksonville State's got to defend the perimeter tonight. North Alabama likes to jack it up from three-point range, and they are a very good shooting long-range team. Jacksonville State will have to pay close attention to that tonight. Gamecocks, one of the top three-point shooting teams in the nation. Here's Finch. Works on Brim, tries to use the window. And it's Isaac Chapman off the board. Brian for North Alabama to get back into the W column. What does Tony Poole's team need to do? Exactly what they just did. They've got to crash the board tonight. They've got to limit the second and third chance opportunities. North Alabama did that on that last possession. Chapman misses on the three. And 90 seconds in, uh, we're scoreless. Darian Adams works around the world, fight for the rebound. He comes back with it. North Alabama is going to have to out-physical JSU tonight as they hit a big three there. Boy, Gibbs perfect on that tray ball. And that opens up the scoring. That is off of a second chance opportunity. North Alabama has got to limit those here tonight. Chapman drives, spins, misses. And it's an 0 for 3 start for North Alabama. Henry tried to get the charge call there, didn't get it. Now JSU with a chance here after hitting that big three early. Jacksonville State has had three different players score over 30 points this season. And there's another three ball from Jalen Gibbs. Jalen Gibbs lighting it up. He's already hit 34 threes coming into this game. Now that's 35 and 36. And JSU out to this quick six to nothing lead. North Alabama three straight misses to open. There's C.J. Brim from the free throw line. Adams trying to lob to Huffman. And here's North Alabama. Jamari Blackman, 10th on the school's all-time scoring list. Make that five straight misses for North Alabama. North Alabama offensively been right now just not in any kind of rhythm. Nothing falling right now. They've done pretty good defensively except for those two made threes. But right now, North Alabama's offensive scheme right now not working. And there's a Jacksonville State turnover. Huffman could not handle it. Forrest stripped from behind. Players tumble, and it's Jacksonville State coming away with it. Not a good pass from Bram right there. Huffman. Nearly lost it again. The Gamecocks will keep it. As each side dips into their bench for the first time. Roselli Snack checks in for Jacksonville State, for North Alabama, Dallas Howell and Pop Cisse. Look at Ray Harper, six year at Jacksonville State, 105 wins. Adams works on Blackman. Gibbs. Here's his first miss from downtown. Big rebound there from Pop Cisse. North Alabama looking for a bucket. The extra pass to Brim, and there it is. Great job working inside back out for North Alabama. As you called it, the extra pass. Wide open, cuts the lead in half. Five straight misses for North Alabama prior to that make. Here's Zelly Snack inside. Cisse, member of the A-Sun. After spending 18 years in the Ohio Valley Conference, the Gamecocks make their return to the A-Sun. Means these two in-state rivals will meet uh, twice a year until the Gamecocks move up to Conference USA. Big matchup here tonight. Both these teams filling each other out in the first four minutes, trying to find out what each other's got. Dallas Howell can't knock down the three. 
Look at Adams sprinting down the floor. And, Brian, you can feel the excitement for this matchup in this building. You can. It, it feels like an old rivalry matchup here tonight. Kind of got that intense feeling to it. Oh, a deep three launched. Unable to knock it down. C.J. Brim, maximum effort, misses. JSU has numbers here. Here's King. Zelly Snack deflected away. Daniel D.J. Ortiz, did he lose it? He did. See Ortiz right there just a little bit out of control with that, bringing it down the floor. Trying to beat the defense back down the floor, trying to make a play. Turns the basketball over. North Alabama right now, two turnovers. JSU with three. JSU has out-rebounded North Alabama. They've doubled them up so far, eight to four on the glass. Battalion Brown checks in for North Alabama. Jacksonville State scored the first six in this win. Henry. Mr. Maureen Blackman cleaning up the miss. North Alabama, one field goal in this ball game. Lions miss their first five. It's the freshman Pop Cisse. The true freshman drug the pivot foot. Yeah, underneath against Zelly Snack. I mean, he gives up a little bit of weight there. Pop Cisse, as you mentioned, the freshman trying to work it down low, and Zelly Snack really just had none of it. Tony Poolhole looking on his fourth season at North Alabama. This is the 101st Division I game. The Lions played game number 100 at the Division I level against Lipscomb on Tuesday night. Gibbs has scored all six of the Gamecocks' points. Purdue doubled, Zelly Snack inside, draws the foul. I think that'll go against Brim. Yep, that's the case. Brim really in no man's land right there against Zelly Snack, who stands at six foot 11. And you see right here on the backside, Brim just reaches in right there and commits the foul and sends the big man to the line where he has struggled this year at the free throw line. Jacksonville State second in the A sun and free throws attempted per game. But then the Gamecocks rank 11th out of 12 in team free throw shooting percentage. Getting to the line, just not hitting them. Yeah, getting to the line has not been a problem at all, as you mentioned. Zelly Snack silences the crowd on the second make. Four point advantage for the road team, Jacksonville State. A little pressure put on here by the Gamecocks. North Alabama donning the Shoals jerseys. Representing the collective Shoals area community. Blackman tried to dish off to Cisse. North Alabama an opportunity to inbound. North Alabama I think tonight has the quicker guard play collectively, but underneath the size advantage really belongs to JSU. Brim has North Alabama's only field goal. Blackman launches, oh, in front of the Jacksonville State bench. How about Jabari Blackman pulling up from long range? 26 threes hit on the year now. Jamari Blackman gets the Lions back to within one. Blackman has played in every Division I basketball game for North Alabama. Program's first 1,000-point score at the D1 level. Adam steps back, can't answer. Fight for the rebound, Jay Powell stuck with it. Adams, second time, floats it in. Great cut to the basket right there from Gibbs. Or excuse me, Adams. So North Alabama, two field goals, each from three. Cisse makes a move and a tough finish for the freshman in the paint. That is a really strong move there by the freshman. Pump fake up with a left hand. Got his defender in the air, brings the North Alabama back to within one. Been a really good game here so far. Jacksonville State, five minutes without a field goal. 
Zelly snack on Cisse, turns it over. Blackman the interception. Howell, transition, gives North Alabama the lead. Go back to the defensive end where Pop Cisse did a great job with Zelly Snack underneath the basket, forced that turnover, and then North Alabama answers on the other end. North Alabama coming to life defensively. Zelly Snack <laughs> lost it and snuck it in. That's going to be a battle tonight to watch those two. That's going to be a lot of fun to watch. 11-11, make a wish, we're all tied up. Brim steps back. Three of North Alabama's four field goals from downtown. Powell to Zelly Snack, finishes inside. Pop Cissé got caught outside on a screen in North Alabama. Had four lead changes early on. Season ago, North Alabama made it to the Ace Sun Tournament Championship game where they came up short against Liberty. Lions gearing up for their fourth run through the Ace Sun at the Division I level. Forrest drives in. Wave it off, it's a charge. Yeah, Damian Forrest just plowed right through. I believe that was Darian Adams. Easy call for the officials. First foul against Damian Forrest, and JSU gets the basketball back. Three-point advantage for Jacksonville State. I believe we had a score change there during the break. At North Alabama three, changed to a two. Here's Finch with eight. Huffman wants it down low with four. Loses the handle. It's Will Susi coming away with it, and he's fouled. Yeah, that's Juwan Purdue just coming up. Six foot six sophomore trying to make a play. Good look at Coach Tony Pulho right there for North Alabama. Trying to get his squad back in the W column. It's this old rival right here in JSU. North Alabama, three makes from downtown. Three would tie it. Italian Brown for the tie. Miss cleaned up by Huffman, Jacksonville State's top rebounder. You see JSU trying to get out here and run a little bit. Let's see her blocker charge. It's Isaac Chapman drawing it. Chapman, one of the tops in the nation in terms of drawing charges. And I agree with you, you've said it before, drawing charges, charges taken, however you want to term it, needs to be a stat that the NCAA recognizes. It goes in the book as a turnover. Yeah. Should be something on the other end of that. I agree, I agree. Chapman spins, cut off. Forrest turns it over, Finch. Trying to race away, swatted away by Detalian Brown. A little too much contact, however. Boy, they are so fast, and I'm, I'm talking about both teams here, up and down the floor. What a great job by D. Brown of recovering. You see right there how far he is behind the play. Catches up and gets the block, but gets the body as well, and sends Fitch to the free throw line 85% on the year. And the lefty gets the bounce. Is that what they call a shooter's touch? He goes one of two. Jacksonville State leads by four. Susie tries the runner, and that one hops in and out. Tough break right there from Susie. Did a great job to drive baseline. Had the defender cut off with the offhand, just couldn't get it to go. Gibbs has six points. 
Can't knock down the jumper, Chapman. Battling on the glass with Kane Henry. Graham runs the shot clock down. Got to pay attention here, six to shoot. Brown floater, oh. he gets the bounce that time. Wow, another shooter's touch on the other end. He gets it to go. North Alabama back to within two here. North Alabama has had one of the top defenses in the A sun, and there's a turnover. Susie forced it as his pocket picked from behind almost. Deflected away by Gibbs. Yeah, great job by Gibbs of recovering there. He was beaten on the play, came back and just poked it away from behind. I love the way that North Alabama has played here. They give up some size. We talked about that earlier. You can see that as far as the stats go in the rebound category. 13-7 <clears throat> 7 right now, JSU winning that. But North Alabama has hung right in there, even with that, just down two here. Daniel DJ Ortiz back into the ball game. He launches. Could not give North Alabama the lead. There's the drive in. Strong finish on the take by Jalen Finch. Now Finch, one of those uh, special players, the transfer from Florida Southwestern State. 11 starts this year. Got to start here tonight. Just does everything well. He is a finesse player. North Alabama struggling offensively, shooting at 29%. The Lions struggled offensively against Lipscomb, shooting 35% in the loss. Brim can't knocks it down. There's a deflection. Finch. Gives it away to Talion Brown, the initial deflection. Tried to get it underneath the Zellies. That great job by North Alabama of defending that pick and roll. And Forrest has to pass out, working on Zelly snack. Oh, he is just so big underneath. C.J. Brim launches and misses. Jacksonville State more than doubling up North Alabama on the boards right now. And North Alabama struggling a bit offensively right now. Just one of their last seven. Ortiz takes it away from King. The freshman right to the rack for the finish. Great job by North Alabama. I felt they were in a danger zone right there. And JSU wants to talk about it. Ray Harper far. North Alabama struggling from long range, two of eight. JSU right now, two of five. One thing to mention, North Alabama yet to get to the free throw line. Lions playing without Peyton Youngblood, one of their starters. Huffman inside, doubled, it's a charge. Yeah, that's a great call right there. Brandon Huffman just ducked the shoulder, doesn't like the call, but Pop Cisse draws the charge. Huffman gets the foul, it's his first. Huffman, I don't think there was any need to, to do that. He's got the size advantage against Pop Cisse. Now, Pop has definitely held his own, but Huffman didn't have to do that right there. Here's a chance for North Alabama to tie. Jamari Blackman for the lead. Cissé tried to pop it out. And North Alabama can't jump back on top. Jacksonville State, very experienced team coming out of the Ohio Valley Conference. First year in the A-Sun, all five starters back. 12 Letterman overall. We watch the battle down low between Cissé and Huffman. They are absolutely going at it right now. Finch with it, five on the shot clock. Kick to the corner. Purdue can't hit, Ortiz comes away with it. Big rebound right there in front of Huffman. Ortiz pulls up, can't tie the game up. Trying to get it at the free throw line. They call that foul against Huffman, so that's his second. And he may come out of the game after this made free throw. 
North Alabama, the top free throw shooting team in the A-Sun. And right on cue, Ortiz misses the first. The broadcaster jinx at the free throw line has been real this year. It is alive and well, I can tell you that for sure. Ortiz hits the second to make it a one-point ball game. And into the place of Huffman comes number 13, Jay Powell, 6'9", 190 pounds. The lefty Finch somehow keeps it alive. Works on Figueroa. And Adams calls for it out near half court. Works on Blackman. Pulls up. Oh, he can't get the roll. That was a fun battle. It sure was. We've had four lead changes. North Alabama looking for number five. Cisse stripped on the way up. Great defense by Juwan Purdue. And Purdue into the body of Cisse. And I think Cisse bailed him out right there. He was out of control and really had nowhere to go with the basketball. And the first foul against Pop Cisse bailed him out. JSU keeps possession. Gibbs has six early points. Jump hook missed inside by Powell. Offensive rebound by Purdue. Adams pops in and out. Oh, nothing falling right now for either team. Almost a four minute drought for JSU now. Figueroa too strong. And another chance for North Alabama to grab the lead. Adams gets inside. Oh, the dump off. Cisse, a rejection. Great effort by Purdue to stick with it. Great effort by Purdue. You're exactly right. Pop Cisse got the block. Purdue stayed with it and gets rewarded with the basket. Ortiz launches. He ties the game up. How about Ortiz from long range now leads the team with five points. Finch navigating the start. There's the end one from Finch. Leads out at three. Ortiz goes wow. down. Howell for the tie. Squared away at 21, Dallas Howell. Dallas Howell can light it up from long range. 24 made threes on the year. Knots this game at 21. Someone said his shot has no bottom. So much arc. It's a pretty shot. It is. Zelly Snack spins. Oh, what a nice touch. Tell you what, to be a, a big guy, he is just smooth with the basketball inside the paint. Someone lost something after the play. The officials clean it up. Ray Harper picked up a win, 100 at Jacksonville State earlier this year. Guided the Gamecocks to their first NCAA tournament appearance at the Division I level. Got it to Cissé a little bit late there. Cissé's jump hook, too strong. Adams baseline, oh, look at the footwork there from the veteran. Yeah, great job by Adams. He saw Cissé coming and then went right by him and laid it up. Now JSU up four. Jacksonville State led by as many as six on a 6-0 run to open the game. Blackman battling draws the foul. And Coach Harper over there does not like that call. Thinks the team was bailed out by that call. Get a good look at it here. Jamari really 
in trouble there. Just puts it up, hope for the best, and got bailed out with the foul call there against, they're going to call it against Finch. Blackman opened the season hitting 21 straight free throws. Recently moved to 10th place on North Alabama's all-time scoring list. He goes one of two from the line. Adams crossover, battling. Oh, there's an and one. Well, there's a reason that Darian Adams was selected as our impact player. And this right here shows you why. Just loses Ortiz and then still has the power and the presence of mind to put it up. Darian Adams, senior out of Montgomery, Alabama, transferred to JSU from Troy. He is a special player, no doubt about it, averaging Nearly 15 points per game. He's got half of that, almost half of that here. Completes the free throw. Gamecocks have equaled their largest lead out at six. They've hit five of their last five. I think I could do that math. Blackman has scored four for North Alabama. Chapman on the slash. Can't finish. Final minute of this first half. Big opportunity for the Gamecocks. Look at Adams to the free throw line. Left it short. Strong rebound by Chapman. Sure was. Big boy rebound right there. Brown inside. High off the window. That is a great finish right there from D. Brown, as you mentioned, high off the glass. North Alabama needed something right there. They needed to answer, and they did. Now come back and defend in these last 27 seconds. These teams are taking it to one another. Yes, they are. This is fun to watch. Shot clock about three seconds. In front of the game clock, Finch works on Brim, misses the reverse. Zelly Snack on the follow, wave it off. I think that's the right call, too. Zelly Snack doesn't agree with it, and they'll probably take a look at this. And then a flop warning issued afterwards on C.J. Brim. Now North Alabama, four seconds, four and a half seconds to go 94 feet. JSU going to put a little bit of pressure on here. Let's get something exciting here. 4.6, here's Brim. Brim splits the double all the way. First half of this game, we'll see how it looks here in the second half. North Alabama basketball to open up the final 20 minutes of game action. Line shot 32% from the field. Ortiz, the freshman, opens up the second half with a roll. Huffman, or Hoffman, I should say, got caught out top there. And that allowed the easy basket for North Alabama. Ortiz battling on the other end, called for the foul. Jalen Gibbs to the floor. Jacksonville State, 44% from the field. Doubling up North Alabama on the boards, though, 23 to 11. Unreal, you see a stat like that, Ben, you think, all right, they're dominating with second and third looks at the basket, but only up two right here. They, they really have not been able to take advantage of that. Only seven second chance points, even with that big rebounding margin. Adams has it, shot clock at six. He and Blackman working against each other. Adams short on the floater. Watch Ortiz here, he's special. And Ortiz did not have numbers. The rebounding battle, North Alabama has finished top three in the league in rebounding each of the first three years of the transition. 
The Lions have been an excellent rebounding team under Tony Poolhall. There's Darren Adams finding the stroke from three. Yeah, Adams can light it up from long range. North Alabama got to be careful here. Five-point game, yes, but you've got to come back and answer. JSU has hit their last five or six in a row here. Chapman has to leap over bodies on his way for the layup. Big answer right there from Chapman. One possession game yet again. I look for Jacksonville State to get Adams more involved. He's taken eight shots so far, seven points. Does have five big rebounds. Henry inside, follows his miss, stayed with it for the putback. Just continuing to work. First time doesn't go your way, just keep going, and that's exactly what he did. Brim, count that one. That ball rolled around twice before it went in. Finch will pick up the foul. You see it there rolling around, finally falling in to give him continuation. C.J. Brim goes to the line. His first trip to the free throw line tonight. C.J. Brim has scored in double figures in three straight, struggling from the field in this one. Completes the three-point play. Gives him six points. North Alabama right back to within two. And Finch goes right by Brim. Chapman, I believe, called for the goaltend. Yeah, that one right above the cylinder. Count that basket back to a four-point game here. Another two, look at it. Two point cards. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe right here. Could have been Forrest there on the block. Goaltend. Ortiz makes his move in. Oh, wow. the freshman. Wow. What a tough shot. That was a tough shot. Decided not to take the screen. Goes off of that and then pulls up in the land of Giants. Knocks it down. Finch again. Found this time. Drive in there, you see Brim trying to catch up with him, commits the foul, the second call against CJ. And it puts Jalen Finch to the free throw line. Pretty good so far tonight, two of three, 85% on the year. Gamecock lead out at three. Great defense here put on by Jacksonville State. It's Gibbs guarding Blackman. Yeah, shot clock down to four. Brim steps back, C.J. Brim. Can't get it to go. Forrest offensive board. Forrest saved it, then lost it. Gamecocks running. Gibbs, three, short. Not the shot that JSU wanted right there. Did not have numbers underneath the goal. North Alabama had him outmanned underneath the glass. Now North Alabama trying to answer. Ortiz launches. Forced again on the offensive glass. And Ortiz just stepped on the oh. sideline. Tough break right there. Ortiz, the hands on the head. and Man, that's a tough break. It's been a few years now since they, they extended that corner. Yeah. And we really haven't seen that as much as I thought we would. Dallas Howell pops Cisse into the game for North Alabama. Jacksonville State counters. Roselli Snack returns. He had seven points in the first half. Great matchup in that first half between Zelly Snack and Cisse, and they're going at it again underneath the glass. Finch has it hop in and out. Ortiz attacks. Count the bucket. He'll try wow. to tie it at the free throw line. <laughs> Fearless. Dang. 
Three rebounds, throw in an assist. And maybe not single-handedly kept North Alabama in this game, but a huge part of it. New teams arrive on campus. Freshmen get there. You always ask coaches, hey, who's impressed you? From the moment Daniel Ortiz has stepped on campus, he's been the freshman, the young gun, Tony Pujols singled out. Well, for good reason. Daniel Ortiz is a special player, and I would think by the time his career here at North Alabama comes to a close, he's going to hold a lot of first place in a lot of categories. The Gamecocks turn it over. Finch and Gibbs not on the same page. In North Alabama, a chance to grab the Lions' first lead since early in the first half when they led it 10 to 9. Ortiz feeling it. Tried to feed Cisse. I think that was Darren Adams that came over. Got to go meet that pass. Blackman nearly got it back the other way. Adams in a tie game. Tough finish. Counted and one. When they need a big basket, that's where they go. Watch Darian Adams on this drive to the basket there, working against Ortiz. Cissé, I think, is going to get the foul, but what a finish there by Adams. And he's got a chance to go to the free throw line. And Adams right now, 12 points, leading all scores. When you look at his stat line season-wise, just under 15 points, just out of the top five in scoring in the ASUM, Nearly five rebounds, 4.3 assists. I mean, that's player of the year caliber numbers from Absolutely. Darian Adams. Yeah, it sure is. And he's going to make his case, no doubt, through the remainder of this season for that player of the year win. Howell can't tie it up. Cissé offensive board. Ortiz on the drive. And he draws the foul. It's a great no-call right there underneath against Ortiz. You see right here as he drives in, ducked down, didn't duck his shoulder in, and getting the foul call there is Jalen Finch, and that'll nope, they're going to call that against Adams. Is that right? Darren That's Adams picks it up. Wow. Ortiz back to the line. He has five in this second half, 11 for the ball game. Coach Harper chatting with Adams. Perhaps Adams pleading his case to stay in. Well, it doesn't look like he's going to be subbed out. And he has got to play smart basketball. C.J. Brim will check in. And Jamari Blackman will take a seat. If I'm North Alabama, in my mind right now, I take it right at Adams. And Daniel Ortiz, he's up to 13 points. Tony Poole saying this week, you know, we need the young guys to really come up, come up big for us here in conference play. Daniel Ortiz listening to his coach's call. Jacksonville State by one. Henry Fell got up, but he couldn't knock down the three. Good box out and rebound by CC. A look at Ortiz right to the rack, rejected by Henry. Adams through traffic. Again, Terry. Ortiz. Exchange of some free throws. Knocks down both off the tech. Now Darian Adams gets his chance for the end one. Adams up to 15 points, five rebounds. And he completes the end one. He'll go to the bench. He does now have four personal fouls. That's, that's what I was thinking. Doesn't that count as a, a personal foul as well? It's a rivalry game. Here we go. Roll up the sleeves. Two-point ball game. Brim oh. can't tie it up. Finch. They call it a two. Fight for the rebound and a foul against North Alabama. 
And yeah, maybe Cissé going over the back, trying to go for the rebound, if that's the case. No, it'll be on Dallas Howell, actually. And that would just be his first. Checking to see who they called the foul on there, and it is against Dallas Howell. And going to check it again, it appears. Checking it twice. I thought it would have, would be on Pop Cissé, but not the case. And the Gamecocks get a second chance opportunity. Finch, out to Henry, launches. Oh, what a big bake. That is a big basket right now, Jacksonville State. They're going to have to turn to somebody else besides Adams. And somebody else is going to have to step up and make baskets. C.J. Brim, Zelly Snacks says, get out of here. Having none of it. Transition three, oh, Damari King. Back-to-back -back threes for JSU now, leading by eight all of a sudden. Largest lead of the game for <laughs> As they hit two big threes here. You know, we talked about who was going to answer the bell. Darian Adams out with his fourth foul. Who is going to be the scoring threat for JSU? And they've answered with a couple of big threes. North Alabama, four straight misses. And there's a costly turnover by Jamari Blackman. Yeah, just lost the ball in the corner over there. North Alabama right now. Almost a three-minute drought here as far as scoring goes, and quite the opposite for JSU, a 6-0 run. Chance for the Gamecocks here to grab a double-digit lead. Look at the ball movement. Henry can't find anything inside. Gamecocks have four on the shot clock. Yeah, look for him to go down low to here to Zelly Snack. He and Cissé still going at it underneath. This should be a heck of a battle here as the shot clock winds down. Four on the inbound. King from the corner draws the foul on Jamari Blackman. Bailed out over there in the corner. That is a huge foul call. Jamari Blackman turns it over on this end and then a big foul there. Goodness. Big chance for King here. King at the line for three. He has three points. This is the first. Chance here to make it a 10-point ball game. And there it is. Gamecocks lead by 10. Biggest lead with 12 minutes left here. North Alabama's got to find an answer offensively. An 8-0 run right now in North Alabama. Just one for their last seven. Cissé inside, there's the soft touch from the freshman. Yeah, he's a little bit quicker than Zelly Snack underneath. Maybe gives up a little bit of size, but he's got a little bit of quickness on the big guy. Jacksonville State shooting 50% here in this half. King loses it, turnover Jacksonville State. 16th turnover of the night for JSU. Timeout on the floor. Gamecocks out in front by eight. Ray Harper and company looking for an ace sun win. Out in front by eight moments ago. They had their largest lead of the game out at double figures, North Alabama. 
Trying to start a comeback. Benjamin Ray and Brian East back with you inside of Flowers Hall. Brian, you, you just go back moments ago. This game was tight, and then just like that, Jacksonville stayed out big. Yeah, right after that technical foul, JSU went on an 8-0 run. North Alabama came back with a basket on their last possession here, looking to answer again on this possession. The freshman Cisse too strong off the window. Wanted to go underneath the Zelly snack right there, but North Alabama did a great job defending. Henry runs over Chapman. Will they count it? Wave it off on the floor, they say. Coach Harper across the way there. You see him at the top of your screen wanting the basket, but I don't think he's going to get it. Kane Henry to the line, shooting one and one. 68% free throw shooter on the year. He scored in double figures in three straight. Daniel Ortiz returns for North Alabama. He leads the Lions with 15 points. Free throw missed. Best case scenario for North Alabama. Dallas Howell wanted it too strong. Good look over there in the corner. A little bit too much on it. How about North Alabama now 0 for 5 from downtown here in this second half? Yeah, struggling from the outside, and they've been so good from three-point range. Not so much here in the second half. Finch gets it back. And there's another turnover. Jay Pound gives it up. With JSU, a couple of missed opportunities on their last couple of possessions in North Alabama. They're going to make a run here. Still plenty of time to do it, but you've got to start answering after getting some of those stops. Down by eight. You've got to start answering here sooner, sooner rather than later. North Alabama 0 of 5 from 3 in this half, but 6 of 10 from inside the three-point line here in the second half. Howell turns it over. And then Ortiz commits the foul after Powell came away with it. That's a tough break for North Alabama, trying to get something going. But JSU, great uh, defensive job down low, allowing North Alabama nothing. And then North Alabama turns it over, and here's JSU at the free throw line. Powell at the line, a 55.6% free throw shooter. He has not scored in nine minutes of game action. One and one miss, long rebound. North Alabama gets it back. Gamecocks don't agree with that one. Coach Harper pacing over there. Did not like that call either. I feel like we've been stuck on this score for a little while now. We have, yes. Halfway through this second half, Ortiz strong take misses. Jacksonville State has numbers here. Transition three, King pops it. Two big threes from King down the stretch here. And the Gamecocks all of a sudden up by 11. And they've done it with Darian Adams on the bench. Yes, sir, they sure have. That's right. North Alabama needs offense. Dallas Hell, oh. oh, in and out. Tough break from North Alabama. They needed that one. North Alabama now 0 for 6 from 3 in the second half. Jacksonville State has won this second half so far, 25 to 18. Sally Snack inside. Dallas Howell cleans up the miss. That is a big break for North Alabama. And Blackman not on the same page as Detalion Brown. 
Right into the boom mic of Jacksonville State radio voice, Mike Paris. <laughs> you caught one the other night at Lipscomb. I saw that. Mike's got, Mike's got to have better hands down there. Got to flash the good hands. Yeah. 39 seasons for Mike Paris at Jacksonville State. There's voice, 14th longest tenured NCAA play-by-play -play voice. Recently called his 400th career football game. Semi-retired now. It's just great to have home and visiting radio in the house. As I'm jabbering Jacksonville State, shot clock violation. That was an awfully quick shot clock. I, I'm sure it's right, but uh, I think Coach Harper's got a gripe over there. I don't know. That was pretty quick. North Alabama basketball. Chapman inside misses. North Alabama now 0 for their last five, and you can extend that to one for their last 10. North Alabama getting the stops they need, just can't yeah. get the offense that they need. Finch stripped on the way up. And North Alabama gets it back. That's the 19th Jacksonville State turnover. And North Alabama really has not been able to take advantage of that. Only six points off of those 19 turnovers. North Alabama has been one of the best in the A-Sun at forcing turnovers this season. Ortiz, look at the finish from the freshman. Yeah, high off the glass. Just above the square, gets it to go. Here we are back to a nine-point game. North Alabama, in a bad way, needed that bucket. Jacksonville State, two minutes without any points, but the flip side, they've pretty much maintained that double-digit lead. Trying to stretch it back out. Henry, inside. Henry at the line here, he's got four points in the last two or three minutes and a chance here to three-point play, misses this one. So North Alabama goes back to work, down 11. Jacksonville State making life tough for North Alabama as Ortiz misfires inside. Got to have those, especially at this point in the game. Down 11 with seven to go, that one's got to go. Henry works on Brown, takes a tumble. Here's Will Susi with it. Susi, count that bucket. He oh. says, let's go afterwards. <laughs> Great move there by Susi. Just throws it up and hopes for the best. And you, you look, you see his face. He's a little bit surprised that it goes in. And now he'll go to the line for a three-point play. That's a big, big basket right there. Will Susie, such a spark plug for this North Alabama team off the bench. Eight points against Gonzaga, seven against Lipscomb, his last two played. Susie trying to spark North Alabama. Lead stands at eight. Flowers home coming to life now. Finch. Gamecocks keep it with eight on the shot clock. North Alabama needs a stop right here. King pulls up with seven. Oh, the wow. lefty. Perfect swish through. He has been huge in the last two or three minutes for JSU. Couple of big threes and now knocks that one down back to a 10-point game. He's into double figures, all 10 of his points in this second half. Brown fades away. Gamecocks by 10, a chance to push it out to their largest lead.
Coach Harper wanting Finch to go one-on-one, -on -one, run as much time off his clock as he can right here. Finch drives in, floater misses. Oh, the follow slam from Purdue. Purdue just followed it up perfectly and stuffs it back home. 12-point advantage for the road team. The freshman Ortiz looking for something. Bram dials it up. Ball loose, Jacksonville State comes away with it. JSU's defense down the stretch here has been outstanding. They have defended everything that North Alabama has done, a hand in every shot, every pass contested. I love the defense that JSU has played down the stretch. Finch, wild pass. It's the 21st turnover. How about the team with 21 turnovers leads by 12? Yeah, uh, that you don't see that very often. But North Alabama uh, they haven't gone ice cold here down the stretch, but pretty close to it, two of their last 10. And you credit that to JSU's defense. They have done a fantastic job defending everything that North Alabama has tried here in the last 10 minutes. Jamari Blackman returns for North Alabama. Ortiz stepped out of bounds. It's kind of unraveling right now for North Alabama. You just can, can kind of see it happening, feel it happening. We've talked about the JSU defense, but the Gamecocks 55% in this second half. Yeah. Nearly 50% for the game. Here's Darian Adams checks in to try to close the game out. Kings have the hot hand in the second half. Henry. He hooked Susie. It's about the only thing that JSU has done wrong in the last 10, 12 minutes of this game. And they're going to get... Zella Snack back into the game here. And out will go Henry. North Alabama, this is the time where they've got to make a run, got to knock down shots and follow that up with stops defensively. King and Henry have combined for 17 in the second half for Jacksonville State after neither scored in the first half. Ortiz, an open look in North Alabama. Had missed seven straight threes prior to that make. Needed that one in a big way. He cuts it to a nine-point game. You've got to come back and get a stop here. Heading into the final stretch of this one. Zelly Snack and Chapman underneath. Darian Adams has been the, the consistent force for the Gamecocks. He misses both. Two big misses right there. It's getting to the point with North Alabama where it feels like you need points every possession. Yes, I agree. Look at the defense. I mean, they just like glue, extending it out beyond the perimeter. Ortiz launches from way out. Comes up short. North Alabama now one of nine from three in this second half, five of 21 for the game. See that defense right there forces a shot like that. Look at what's coming up next for the Gamecocks and their return to the A-Sun. It's going to be a big matchup with them and Lipscomb. About North Alabama, first of three straight against the A-Sun newcomers. I'm a fan of the divisions in the A-Sun. I like the way the league looks. I think it's a wide open league. Yeah, I do too. Obviously, the Liberties, the, the what, two-time defending champs, somebody's got to knock them off three-time. How many, many times they've won it? And North Alabama came so close last year to doing that. Three, Henry misses. Got a score here. North Alabama's gotten back-to-back -back stops now. Brim, floater. 
not there. Perhaps one of the best looks North Alabama has had. Aaron Adams has battled foul trouble in this second half. Still has team high 16 points. Great shoot. Patiently oh. finds Henry underneath, who's fouled by Susie. Good to see Henry pop up. That was a hard landing. Another look here, Henry. Susie close. Henry now has eight all in this second half. He's been big. He was part of that run when Adams had to go out of the game with that fourth foul for JSU. Henry hit a big three. Had a couple of another big baskets. And then now adds a pair of free throws to go back up by 11. You just go back two possessions prior. North Alabama got back-to-back -back stops and then no points on the other end. Brim tries the corner. Fight for the rebound. It's Henry coming away with it. Final two minutes, Gamecocks, comfortable 11 point lead. Bench down to five. North Alabama gets it back, Brim coast to coast. The, the tournament could be a blast this year. North Alabama won six in a row at one point a season ago, followed that with seven straight losses, and then made the A-Sun Tournament Championship. Yeah. Adams. Oh, the throwdown from Henry! The exclamation point. Emphatic. Brim swatted away. Ooh. We get a dunk. We get a denial that time, pal. He said, pal. <laughs> A plus there, brother. A plus. <laughs> that sort of just sums up the night for Jacksonville State. It does. The more physical team coast to coast. Yep, no, without a doubt. Italian Brown launches from the corner. Adams the rebound. And he's fouled. Free throws for Darian Adams to ice it away. 90-second meeting, Jacksonville State now about 38 seconds away from the win. Something you said makes a lot of sense there. If you're going to beat Jacksonville State this year, you're going to have to out-physical them. They are going to come in and be physical in everything they do. And they've got the big bodies to do it. And they've got... Darian Adams, who is a special player, can shoot the lights out. And it is a tall task to beat this Jacksonville State squad. You have got to be more physical than they are. Everyone I spoke to kind of minutes prior to the game, they kept saying, man, Jacksonville State, they're big and long. Yeah, and they are. That's and they right. played that way tonight. Sure did. Adams knocks home both. He'll finish with a team high, 18 at the moment, seven rebounds, two assists. North Alabama just did not have enough offensive firepower this evening. The freshman Ortiz, Blackman offensive board. Brim tries the three, there it is. Jacksonville State out rebounding North Alabama, now 43 to 27. Signature of Tony Pujols' program. It's a 10-point ball game, and he's yelling compete. Uh, hey, still play. There's time on the clock. you got to play. 
King crosses the timeline. Tony Boyle calls the troops off. And Jacksonville State, Ray Harper and company.